Hi, welcome back. This is Patricia Stewart. And as you can see, my plate has some markings that I put on it um, using my chisel tip Posca paint pen. And I will attempt today to do something of a more modern um, type artwork and I'll be using uh, some large mixed media paper uh, that I have on hand. So I'm going to start with a little yellow ochre. I'm going to mix that with some titanium white. Now I'm using a 12 by 12 gel plate, a larger uh, gel plate. I want to try to mix this paint um, where it's one shade more of a light beige. Now there's something, I think, um, area where some paint has heaped up on my roller that's giving me this uh, little marks, but that's good because I'm going to add some marks. Okay, what I'm going to do is take a skewer, the blunted tip, not the sharp edge, and I'm going to do a little mark making on it. I'm going to pull this print. Have some areas marked. On my plate so that I can put a matting around it when it's finished. Just enough space around the sides where I can put a matting, but get the main design in the center. Now this is um, a little heavier paper than card stock. It's for mixed media work. Let's see if I can hopefully it will pick up the um, markings that I've made with the paint pen enough of it. I also like when I pull it up that there's texture that you can see in the markings. Okay. I think I'll pull from the side. It's a nice texture. This heavier paper really hugs the plate. And here we have it. I got a little black at the bottom. Not as strong. 
but that's okay. It makes for its own design. Okay, um, I would like to add a little color in there somewhere. So, I'm going to go with a little Indian hue. And I will do maybe just some small areas. Of it. It's a little bit of small areas here. And because I'm trying to go for a certain effect, I will be patient enough to take it section by section if I have to to get that effect. A little paint here and there um, in the specific area that I want it in because I'm trying to create something more specific. It's good to just let your creative in instinct a work. And so we have the nice Indian hue at the top. Now I will go in for another area of color and I may use my I think I will go in with some green gold but I will use some of my circles um, that you have seen me use in the past To create um, a little different effect here. Uh, and I think I will also mix a little quinacridone nickel. I'm trying to stay with the earthy tones. what happens here. And because those are translucent, um, I don't really want to cover the layer I've done already with another color, so to speak, but let's see how much blending 
uh, with these circles. Let's see what we can get off of them. particular design we can get. We'll lay this down again. So this is all for me intuitive. I have not thought it out beforehand. I think I just had an idea of just some earthy tones that I wanted to give it. So because this is a heavier paper, I have to work it in a little bit more. colors. This went over a little bit too much, but this is the white areas where my matting um, will go. Now when I have a piece like this, um, I don't necessarily like to overwork it. But um, I like to add a couple of things uh, to it. My loose print, let's see if I can remove some of what's on here. So now the idea is how do I, okay, this is pretty dry. How do I embellish now on what I have already? Let me first remove this gel plate out of the way. And place it back in its package. So with this print, how do we build on what we have? And so I have some mark making that I've done on deli paper. And I will proceed to cut these out. I also can use um, gel prints that I have, pieces that may work well in this. So I'm feeling some dots here, some small circular dots. That can be placed on. Trying to find the best 
placement of them. Uh, let's see. Have a crop of of these circles. Something like that, that I can place there. And as I said, the um, leftover gel prints, since I have several folders of um, prints that have been done already in my folders I have small pieces of prints and my papers okay so I have small pieces of prints to find just a nice accent color one uh, that can sort of, I have this, I don't want too much punch of an outstanding color. I also have this piece. Which I happen to really like a lot. I think I did this one with metallics. like that there. And I would balance it perhaps with a small piece at the top. sure if this is a piece that I probably not but if I have maybe hmm, one more um, color piece in the meantime I'm looking at this and I'm thinking of taking my um, black sharpie here, medium point, and adding something here to make it stand out a bit. So if I go just in the center, I like the sketchy texture that I get here, where it didn't come out as a solid um, black marking, but I can work with that. Sometimes you can make something stand out. I also can make this stand out doing some random circles here
there's always a way to build on what you're doing to bring about something a little bit more creative than you had I'll go with these leaf like markings and that gives it a a very nice effect and this is just something I thought of on the fly. What would happen if I did that, went in that direction? And so sometimes we have to learn to trust our own creative instincts because what's the worst that can happen? So I kind of feel like I want something else to go here. So I'm looking in my scrap folders. Something that would... See, I have a piece like this. And I remember using these in my one of my board book pages and sometimes you don't need a lot if you want to make something pop um, Something circular work, or even better, and cut the middle out. Uh, I think I like that better. I think that gives me. And perhaps I can do one more. It gives me more of a... You get that nice accent of something without it being too much. Okay. So I have this. I don't want it to compete with that. And then I have a smaller one. I like to and something in for a little balance. Maybe something like that would work. Okay, so the next move is to paste these down where I have them. And so I'll be using a uh, matte medium Give me a second to paste them and come right back. Okay, so the pieces were um, pasted on with the matte medium. And as you can see, when I looked at it, I felt it needed 
a little something else to bring it together. So I made some fine lines with my Micron pen. Just very fine lines with the Micron pen. And I added some more of the circular um, leaf-like uh, on the other side. Cleaned up my edges a little bit. And I don't know, maybe after a week or two I keep looking at this piece, I may find something else to come across um, that can be added, or it might be fine as is. And that's the other thing. When I work on a piece, I give myself, you know, a few weeks to come back and look at it. I have some more pieces like this that haven't been matted or framed yet because I want to continue to look at them. And if after a while I look at them and it says, oh, we need something else, then it gives me time to do that. And because this piece is, I did it on a 12 by 12 gel plate and my actual size around is more like 11 by 11 and a half, a very odd size. So I can use a 12 by 14 outer edge matting, but my window where the piece is will have to measure 11 by 11 and a half. Um, and so that's not a um, standard matting. And for a lot of my paintings, I've had to order out uh, from someone uh, that um, cuts mattings uh, specifically to the measurements that you give them uh, for the window. And so I will order uh, matting for the window of this piece. So this is just another idea, another example of uh, using your gel prints and your gel plate to create uh, painterly uh, paintings with designs. I like all the textures, the bubbling up of the paint that adds texture and uniqueness to it. So perhaps uh, you give this a try. Um, and if you do, let me know how it came out. Thanks for stopping by.